Hello guys, welcome to new video. Today we will be discussing about the synthesis and degradation of valin. So valin is a branched chain amino acid and this is the structure of valin. It has an isopropyl R group in its structure. This is the isopropyl R group and this is the structure of valin. Valin is represented in three letters by VAL and the one letter representation is capital V. It is a glucogenic amino acid as its degradation leads to succinyl coil. Now let us move on to the biosynthesis of valin. The synthesis of valin starts with pyruvate. In the first reaction, the first reaction is a thiamine pyrophosphate dependent reaction or TPP dependent reaction. The attachment of TPP along with the removal of CO2 from pyruvate leads to the first uh, reaction product that is hydroxyethyl TPP. If you look here, this TPP gets attached directly with this carbon and this COO group of COOH molecule gets removed as CO2. This hydrogen gets attached with this oxygen and forms the first compound that is the hydroxyethyl TPP. In, this is the first reaction. Now let us move to the second step where hydroxyethyl TPP gets converted to alpha acetolactate along with the help of pyruvate molecule. So here we can see that this um, carbon gets directly attaches with the keto group the keto group carbon of pyruvate and forms this structure so if you look here this tpp gets removed this carbon gets attached with this carbon and then the oxygen this oxygen accepts one of the hydrogen from here that is from here and forms oh group so uh, this carbon has a double bond oxygen and this carbon has an oh group so this is the structure of alpha acetolactate. Now the third step where alpha acetolactate gets isomerized to an intermediate in the presence of isomerase. So here rearrangement of uh, atoms occurs and thus an isomeric form of alpha acetolactate is formed. The isomeric form of alpha acetoacetate undergoes reduction in the next step in the presence of reductase enzyme to form alpha beta dihydroxy isovalerate. Here, NADPH2 or NADH2 provides the hydrogen atoms. So, one of the hydrogen attaches with this carbon and another hydrogen attaches with this oxygen and forms alpha-beta dihydroxy isovalerate. In the next step, this compound undergoes dehydration or the removal of water molecule in the presence of dehydratase enzyme to form alpha-keto isovalerate. Here, the two of the hydrogen of water molecules get removed from this carbon and this oxygen and the oxygen of water molecule gets removed from this carbon and forms alpha keto isovalerate. In the next step, this alpha keto isovalerate undergoes transamination in the presence of transaminase enzyme to form valine. Here, this oxygen gets removed and an amino group gets attached to this carbon and forms valine. So this is the synthesis of valine. Now let us move on to the degradation of valine. Valine degradation starts with the transamination reaction with presence of transaminase enzyme. So here this NH2 group of valine gets removed and a keto group attaches. This forms alpha keto isovalerate. In the next reaction alpha keto isovalerate undergoes decarboxylation reaction in presence of decarboxylase enzyme to form isobutyl CoA. Here NAD plus act as a coenzyme coacid is also present there so here this coo of uh, cooh gets removed as co2 and this hydrogen along with uh, the hydrogen of coacid gets removed as nadh2 and this scoa gets attached with this carbon to form isobutyl coa in the third step isobutyl coa undergoes dehydrogenation reaction in presence of dehydrogenase enzyme to form methyl acrylyl coa here FAD acts as a coenzyme. The two hydrogens are removed from uh, one of the hydrogen from here and another hydrogen from here are removed um, with FAD and forms FADH2. Thus methyl acrylyl CoA is formed. In the next reaction, methyl acrylyl CoA undergoes hydration that is addition of water in presence of hydratase and noyl CoA hydratase enzyme to form beta hydroxy isobutyl CoA. Here um, the 
OH group of water gets attached with this CH2 molecule, CH2 group and the hydrogen of uh, water, remaining hydrogen of water gets attached with this carbon and forms beta hydroxy isobutyl CoA. In the next reaction, this beta hydroxy isobutyl CoA in presence of hydrolase enzyme gets converted to or, or gets cleaved to beta hydroxy isobutyrate. Here in this step, this S-CoA gets removed by the addition of water. Here, uh, one of the hydrogen of um, H2O gets removed with this S-CoA as CoA SH and the remaining OH group of water gets attached with this carbon and thus forms beta hydroxy isobutyrate. In the next reaction, this beta hydroxy isobutyrate undergoes dehydrogenation reaction to form methyl melanate semialdehyde. Here, uh, NAD plus act as a coenzyme. Two hydrogen, that is one from here and one from here, gets removed with NAD plus as NADH2 and thus methyl melanate semialdehyde is formed. In the next reaction, this methyl melanate semialdehyde undergoes dehydrogenation in presence of dehydrogenase enzyme to form propionyl CoA. Here, this COO group gets removed as CO2. This hydrogen gets attached with this with this CH group and this forms CH3, CH2 and then one of the hydrogen from here and one of the hydrogen from CoA SH gets removed with NAD plus as NADH2 and the S remaining S-CoA gets attaches with this um, carbon and forms uh, this group. This propionyl CoA is formed. The propionyl CoA thus formed undergoes carboxylation in presence of ATP and biotin to form methyl melanyl CoA. Here CO2 gets attached with this carbon and one of the hydrogen gets attaches with that CO2 and forms COOH group. This methyl melanyl CoA is formed. Then this methyl melanyl CoA undergoes certain rearrangement in its atoms and forms succinyl CoA with the help of mutase enzyme. So this is all about the degradation of valine. This is all about the synthesis and degradation of valine.